you know, do-it-yourself things are awesome. You save a lot of money, and it, in my opinion, it's actually quite fun as well. However, you have to be very careful. I'm going to show you why. Alrighty, this is Motor Maniac coming at you today. Going to talk a little bit about wheel bearings um, and why they're important. So this is a 2004 R6, and I actually just finished rebuilding this. Now, wheel bearings are very important. When I rebuilt this bike, I rebuilt everything. I did a major engine overhaul. I rebuilt everything pretty much inside the engine except for pistons um, and the transmission. Those are the only two things I left the same. So I exchanged camshafts. I rebuilt the entire cylinder head and the top end. Um, and then in addition to that, I did all the wheel bearings because it's a 15-year-old bike. I know for a fact that the previous owners didn't exchange any of those out, so I did it myself. First off, everybody's fallible. Everybody makes mistakes. I don't care who you are. I don't care what shop you go to. Everybody makes mistakes. So somewhere along the line, something happened. We, we either made a boo-boo or maybe this bearing was bad. I don't know, but something grenaded this bearing. So I noticed that while I was riding the bike, there would be a clunking noise every once in a while. It didn't matter if I was going straight, in a turn, whatever. Every once in a while, there would be a shutter in the handlebars that would make a clunking noise. Now, I actually initially thought it was the engine because we drained the oil... Uh, pump cover and uh, to check the um, it was a bad seal to, to check and replace the seal and we found little pieces of shavings in there now that ended up being um, simply the threads for the screws we had stripped out the case a little bit so we went ahead and fixed that anyway I thought that maybe we were wrong and those little engine those little uh, metal pieces were pieces from the inside of the engine and that that clunking noise was those little pieces flying around in the engine causing catastrophic damage so I immediately thought the worst came home took off the wheel because, um, well actually I put it on the stand first and I let it go. Now I knew the front wheel, if it was the front wheel, while you have it on and the rear wheel is spinning, if it's the front wheel, the noise will go away. So that's what I did. I put it on the stand, I turned it on and I revved it to about, oh, 8,000 RPMs or so and I let it just go. I shipped it through the gears, made sure that it wasn't a gear problem, the noise did not persist. So we then know it's a wheel problem. So we took off the wheel, we looked at the axle, the axle looks fine. Looked at the brake pads, they look a little low, but not sure that would actually cause that problem. So then we look at the bearings, and voila, we have our problem. I'll show you this bearing real quick. You can actually see there's actually a gap. There should be ball bearings all around, and there's not. There's, um, there's not any ball bearings right here. So something, don't know what, grenaded the heck out of this bearing. Now you can see it rotates, and then it stops. It doesn't want to rotate anymore. Now that is what that noise came from. The axle would be rotating, and it should be rotating with that bearing, but that bearing was locking up, and then suddenly, see, I got it to move a little bit, you get it to give way. That's what that popping noise was. It's that bearing giving way every once in a while, and that's where the wheel shuttering comes in. If I had left this, that would have caused serious catastrophic damage, and it probably would have ended up killing me, um, especially if you're doing highway driving like that, and this bearing just fails. I mean, you're you're probably gonna die. All right, honest. so we're dissecting this bearing a little bit more, and as you can see, I mean, it's just totally freaking hosed. And this is a brand new damn bearing, brand new. Look at that. That's totally McScrewed right there. I mean, this just freaking grenaded. You can see there's pieces of plastic and metal everywhere. Oh my God, look at that. No wonder it's so. You can see there's pieces of plastic and metal everywhere. I mean, it's just totally, totally hosed. This is what a bad bearing looks like. I wonder if it's just defective or something. I don't know. That's that's really bad though. I'm uh, I'm lucky I didn't die. <laughs> very lucky I didn't Alrighty. die. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.